Welcome to another Form Tyson video. In this video, we'll show you how to delete slash find files in Salesforce Lightning using Titan. So you can delete them or you can simply uh, find them, either functionality. First, we're going to go ahead and find some files. For that, I'm going to get a lookup and I'm going to use case as the object. And then we'll use case number, we'll use contact ID, we'll set the reference there to full name. Okay, find finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to focus on this case here because it has three images that I've just uploaded. Um, actually it has two, in fact it only has one. So I'm going to delete this and I'm actually going to upload three of them right now. So in fact we'll just do two just for the sake of it. So we will go to here and then, uh, yeah, let's upload these two images for now. All right, cool. So these have got two images now, we're good to go. This is the case 1031. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a section and then what we'll do is we will call this, we'll remove this one, and we'll call this delete files, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is in here, I'm gonna add an image, and then I'm gonna add a text box, we'll call this file name, and then a hidden field, We'll call this content document ID. By the way, this is what you will use to delete your files as you can't delete them directly from the files object. Um, so you have to delete the link, which is the content document, which is where it stores everything. Um, okay, so once you've got all of this set up, now it's time to do the get. So we'll go to the get and we will add our object, which is going to be content document link. Condition is going to be all. And then what we'll do is we'll say content document link ID equals my lookup, which is going to be here. And then we click apply. Then I'm going to add a child. So we're going to look for content document. And then in the condition, we're going to bring all, we're going to set the condition, the condition is going to be content document ID equals hashtag one content document ID. By the way, this needs to be changed to in. So that's how that would work. Click apply. And then finally we do files. Click all, set conditions, content document ID equals content document ID. And in here, what I'm going to do is First of all, I'm going to bring back the URL, which is going to be over here. So this one will be my uh, version data. And then file name will be title. And then content document ID will be my content document ID. And we'll reference this to be content document ID. So let's apply and finish and let's see what we find. So let's go and look up my case. Looks like I haven't set it up correctly. Let's remove this one. And then we'll do case number here. Okay. Let's try again. All right, so this is the case that has two images, all right? And it's going to bring that data back in here. So let me go and see where we need to fix this. That's okay. Oh, yeah, this needs to be in as well. So my bad. Let's save. And then let's try again. All right, so... So 
So we need to pick the linked entity ID equals the lookup. Now this should work. Cool. So there are my images, okay? So these are my images right here, that the two that I've uploaded, and this is the content document ID. This is what you will use to delete your files in Salesforce not anything else and the content document ID will be in the get so remember it's in here and what we've done is we've mapped the content document ID into the field the hidden field and this is what you use to delete the data so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to push and what we're going to do is we're going to set up content document custom action we'll say delete you can also do find it's the same thing delete find will find it delete will obviously delete it so be aware of that so content document ID equals my hidden field content document ID that's it that's all I have to do okay click apply finish save and then I'm gonna get a button here and then we're gonna say execute per repeat item remove delete done apply save so now let's go and see there's my case there are my images let's delete this one it's been deleted it's now gone okay so the documents deleted so if I pick another case now and then go back to pick the original one you can see it's only got one do uh, one document left and if I refresh this you can only see there's one left as well all right so and then you click delete again now this one's gone and deleted as well so if I refresh this boom, gone just like that and that's how it's done um, that's how you do it that's how you set up <coughs> the how to delete slash find files in Salesforce using Titan